In this DDM Getting Started video, we're going to take a look at how we start to work with our CAD application and DDM. So once we have DDM installed, we need to set ourselves up as a user. So if we go to All Programs and the Design Data Manager group, we can select DDM Administration and we can log into the Administration module as an administrator and currently there's no password set. Once we're into DDM Administration, can use the sample user as a template for creating and adding a new user. So we select Add Similar and then we can put in our account details. The drawn by name is the information that will appear on the drawing title block. We can add an email address and a password as required. In this case, I'm going to leave the password blank. So now we've created ourselves as a new user in the system, we can close the administration module. I'm going to start my CAD application. In this case, I'm using SOLIDWORKS. The use model will be the same for all supported CAD applications. As SOLIDWORKS starts, we'll be prompted to log into DDM. So we put in our account name and then SOLIDWORKS will start. Within the CAD environment we will have a new menu option called PDM Integrator. If I select Search and Open, this jumps back into DDM and from here to return to SOLIDWORKS I simply close the DDM window and I have control now back in the SOLIDWORKS environment. So we're going to create a new part record. Once our part is complete, we can save it back to DDM from the PDM integrator menu and we select the save option. First of all, a local copy of the part is made and then we're prompted with the DDM properties window to give the part a name. In this case I'm going to call it CSI1 and this is a locating, a locating plate. So that's the details of the part populated and I click on OK to save it and I get confirmation that the part has been saved. Now we've saved the part, we can return to DDM to search for it. So if we select Search and Open, in our Free Search option, we can select Plate and run a search, and that should find the plate that we've created. You'll see that it's at a work in progress state, so the design is not complete, and that Mark has it reserved. You'll also see that a thumbnail preview is captured of the model whenever we save the model. If I have a look on my workbench I will also see a copy of the model um, that we see is locked or reserved to my workbench. And We can also look for the part under My Recent Items. My Recent Items will show all of the things that we've recently created or opened from DDM. And to load the item into session I simply double click on it a load window opens showing this summary or showing me an overview of what I'm loading into session. And I click on OK and my model is retrieved. Now if I want to create an assembly from this part, I can start my assembly in SOLIDWORKS and then from the PDM integrator menu I can select to load a subpart. So I can load an item from DDM into my assembly. And what I want to load is, um, if I go back to search all items, I want to search for a pin. And here's the dowel pin that I want to load into my assembly. So again, I double click to load it. And then I can position the pin in the assembly. Now the assembly is complete, I can save it back to DDM in the same way as I did with the part. 
So we make a local copy and then the properties window opens and we can add our uh, name of the assembly. In this case, uh, part two, and this is my locating plate assembly, and we store that. Again, we get confirmation that the part's been saved. And to complete this now, I'm going to create a drawing of the assembly. So I'm going to select a template. and we'll just put two views on the drawing. With our drawing created we're now ready to save the drawing back and it's the same procedure PDM integrator save makes a local copy of the drawing and you'll see that it uses the the name from the assembly and the description from the assembly that it's been created from. When the drawing saves the drawing title block is updated with the information that I've assigned to the DDM properties Okay, so we can close these items now and we can and we can return to DDM. And if we have a look at my recent items now, we can see the locating plate drawing, the assembly itself and the two components that are used in the assembly. With the drawing selected, if I double click on the preview down in the bottom left hand corner, it will open a PDF of the drawing. So every time we save a drawing, we capture a, a PDF copy of the drawing at the same time. So to complete this, I'm going to release my assembly. So I'm going to select the top level drawing, use the release manager, select expand all to see the complete structure of the assembly. Then I'm going to select the three items that I have at a work in progress state. You'll see the dowel pin is all, already released and I'm going to set the state to released. I can add some comments. Um, and click on OK. And my assembly is now released. To conclude this session, let's take a look at how we make a change to one of the parts in the assembly. So I'm going to make a, a change to the locating plate. So from within DDM, we can look at the properties and find where this item is used and we can see that it's used on this assembly. So if this component is used on a number of assemblies we'll see which assemblies will be affected by us making a change to this component. With this now identified we're going to load the drawing again and then from the drawing we're going to open the assembly. We're going to open the plate and let's make a, a change to the plate. So if we now return to our assembly, our assembly drawing, you'll see the drawing has updated. Now this is a release drawing and we can't overwrite our release drawing. So what we're going to do is to save a new issue of this assembly. So if we expand all we can select the drawing and the assembly and the locating plate and we're going to give a new issue to these items. So we say next issue. We can fill in a change reason and the description is going to be round added to plate. Again we've got space for a long description here so we can say this is a 10 millimeter round is added to the plate and with our changes done we click on OK and now DDM will update those part records in DDM so that we've got our new issues of the items. So here you'll see the change note has been updated on the drawing to show us that the round has been added to the plate. And if we return to DDM in my recent items now we can see we have issue two of the drawing, the assembly and the part that are all at a work in progress state and as we've set these items at a work in progress state, you'll see that the old issues have gone to an under review status. So to complete this with our changes made to the assembly, we're going to release the up issued drawing. So we'll select the three items that have been up issued and we're going to set the state to released. Click on OK 
and our new issues are now released and you'll see the old issues have been automatically superseded. So this overview video gives an idea of the basic function of CAD within DDM of how we create parts assemblies and drawings and how we can control their life cycle states. There are many more features within DDM that can be configured but they're outside the scope of this getting started move.